All right, guys, I want to thank you. Thank you for joining me. My name is Saxon. Um, today, I'm going to take you through a series of videos on uh, video editor in Windows 10. All right, for those who are starting out in video editing, this is the tool that you might want to consider. All right, it's a free video editing tool. You find it in Windows 10. All right, so I'm going to take you through the steps on how you, you, you can use this to, um, uh, to your best. So today, I'm going to take you through uh, a number of steps that you can take uh, to, to ensure that you are working uh, like a professional all right so the first step is how do you accept access this uh, video editor um, you come here right here on start all right and then you click on it and then as you can see um, the, the, this menu list right here is listed in alphabetical order so I want to go down to V okay so as I scroll down I have to get down to V right here as you can see I have a video editor right here so this is Windows 10 and then I can click on it all right to open um, the video editor all right um, I want to I want to tell you something uh, when you are editing your videos the first thing you want to do is to import the video and then the second step is you want to organize your work uh, once you have organized your work the third thing you want to do is now you start to trim you start to you know to edit to add uh, audio and stuff like that and then the next thing you want to do is to preview your project okay but then previewing can be done in between right you can preview your work um, even you know when you are doing this editing and stuff like that and then finally when you are satisfied with your work you want to export your work okay so those are the steps that you want to go through when you are working with videos all right so as you can see this is the window that i'm presented with um, um i have my you know the other project that i've worked on in this uh, video uh, editor so i have them here all right so i can access them here but for us we are starting out on a new project so we come onto this blue uh, the window right here okay or this blue box right here it's it is it, it says new video project start a blank project so that's what you want to do all right but before we get into that I want to show you guys how you can change settings for this uh, video editor uh, you can come right here on the three dots uh, on your top right corner it says see more and then you click on it and then you go to settings right here so I can change the settings of this uh, video um, editor there's not much that you want to change but the most important one is the appearance of your um, of your video editor all right so the moment you choose um, one of these uh, you know themes like the light theme the dark theme or use the system settings all right so what happens is when you change your theme um, it's, it's gonna take effect uh, when you close it and open it up again okay so you have to close it and then you open it up again so the theme is gonna change for now I'm not gonna change anything because uh, I like this dark theme all right so I, I'm gonna go back all right now we want to uh, get into um, our workspace all right so i'm gonna click on this one uh, all right as you can see guys uh, you're welcomed by this screen you have an option uh, to change uh, the name of your project so i'm gonna change the name of my project to my project okay so this is the name of my project i'm gonna say my project right here all right i'm gonna click on okay or you just press enter um as you can see now i'm in my project right here um uh, this workspace has three panels this one the first one the second one is right here to your to your right and then we have one which is long which is right at the bottom of these two all right as you can see this is the name i have an option again to change the name if i feel like this is not the right name i can come here and then click on it and then i can say my new projects all right let's let's assume uh, i i i want to i want to i want to call it this way so i'll click on okay and then now as you can see now it's called my new project this is how you name your project all right so over here we have undo you can undo or redo something that you have done or that you want to redo or undo all right so your, your actions can be undone or you know stuff like that and then over here we have background music and then a custom audio and then we have finished uh, video and then 
we have this CMO, which I already, you know, uh, alluded to. All right, so let's talk about this project library. All right, the project library is where you import your videos. All right, so the first thing you want to do is import your videos, right? Uh, or uh, the clips that you want to work on. All right, so you can uh, hide it or you can show it here with this arrow right here. And these are how the icons that you are going to import are going to look like. They, they can either, you can view them as medium or, you know, as small icons. All right, so the first thing I want to do is in my project library, I want to import something. All right, so we'll move on to talk about the preview window. And then over here, we have the storyboard window right here. All right, or the pane, the storyboard pane or this preview pane. All right, so let's talk about uh, how you add your videos right here in the project library because that's where you're going to import your videos. Um, I want to import my videos. It gives me three options, but I want to import from the P from this PC. So I, I'm going to click on this PC and then it takes me to um, to a folder. So I can actually choose a folder right here to access my files that I want to work on. Uh, but right now I'm going to work on these files that I have right here. So I'm going to choose uh, these files. Um, as you can see, I, I want to choose. Uh, so I press on control and then choose another one or and then another one. All right. So I have three files right here that I want to work on so I click on open all right once I've selected my files I'm gonna click on open all right so as you can see guys right here I have three selected files so as you can see this is active and this becomes active okay so uh, this is what I was talking about about viewing the medium or viewing as them small icons so you can click on this now they look big right uh, these um, uh, icons here, really, but I want to view them as small icons so I can play around with it all right so right now i have these selected as you can see the here there's a checkbox here checkbox checkbox i can decide to deselect them like this and as you can see the two uh, options that we're showing here have disappeared all right but if i select any one these two options appear this placing the storyboard and delete okay so i can actually delete if i mistakenly imported uh, a file here um or i can decide to place them in the storyboard this is where i'm going to do the edit editing the real editing and, and you know animations and stuff like that this is where i'm going to work with my project right here in the storyboard okay so um i, I actually i have three three ways that i can i can use okay the, the first one is to right click on the on the video and then you can say place uh, on the storyboard okay so this is the first option you can right click on it and then say place on the storyboard all right as you can see it's going to be placed right in at the beginning of this storyboard because they this this is just a series of videos okay they come one after the other all right and then the second option that i'm going to use is click I select this video and then we click place in the storyboard as you can see now i have two videos the first one and the second one all right and then the third option that i'm going to use is to drag and drop all right so i can actually click on it and then drag it and then i can place it wherever i want right i can place it right at the start or here or here all right for me i feel this is the best option this is the best option that i use just drag and drop uh, my video so as you can see now we are in the storyboard all right this is the preview window this this uh, pane here is showing us these three videos as you can see the length right here um this is two minutes 39 seconds this is 12 sec 12 seconds and this is uh 15 seconds as you can see if you add up all these times you you realize that is uh, they are totaling three minutes uh and six seconds as you can see so this is uh the length the total length of my project here is shown in the preview window all right so I can start working with these videos. I have to work them right here in the storyboard uh, panel here. Okay, so I can actually switch uh, the position. It's still gonna work. Okay, as you switch positions, all right now as you can see right here the selected file in the storyboard when it's selected is going to show up in the uh preview window right here so as you can see as i select this one it shows up in the preview window as i select the other one it shows up in the preview window and this one as well it shows up in the preview window all right 
the storyboard i can actually click on a title what happens is when you want to add title uh, the title is going to be placed right behind the video that you have selected if i select the second one as you can see it's being shown by this um, blue line which is shown right below the you know the file that you have selected so if i click on a title as you can see now the title is placed right before uh, the video that you have you have selected but title if i feel like i don't i placed it on the wrong position i can actually grab it and you know drag it to the right position as you can see you it's easy for you to drag and you know just drop to the right position all right so we can also talk about um deleting if you feel like you don't want this title or you don't want this video or you have placed this video you don't want it you can actually come here and delete it all right as you delete it right in the storyboard you are not deleting it from the project library okay so you have it in your project library if you want to use it you can still drag and drop it into your project but you have just de deleted it from the storyboard all right you can actually change uh, the duration of your title um, when you want to change the duration of your title as you can see it's when I when I select the title these options show up like the text the background and then the duration so I can actually come here if I select this uh, video here I don't have the duration selected because uh, I can either trim or split the video that's how I reduce the duration of the video all right so on the title I have the, the option to choose the duration right now it's three seconds I can I can turn it to five seconds right here as you can see now it's showing it's five seconds all right so that's how you change the duration of the title you can also change the text of the title by coming here you click on text and then over here you have the option to change the text okay so I'm gonna name it my project uh, that's the title of my project so as you can see I can actually change the time because um, it's set to three seconds okay but when you change the time like the duration it doesn't adjust so you have to come here and adjust the length of your uh, project like the length of your title you know how, for how long it's gonna play so you can play around with this uh, you know bar here it has handles two handles you can stretch it out or you can shrink it it's all up to you uh, but for me I want to stretch it out and then when you're done you can you can always click done but I want to talk about this uh, animated te textile you so you can actually change the look of this title right here by choosing any one of these okay I, I want to go with joy right here I think it's cool all right and, and that's that's how you do it you can also change the background of of this um you know title you go to background right here and then you can actually choose the color that you want right now i'm going to choose green and say done all right so as you can see guys the effects that i've you know um I've changed one or two things so now they show up in my preview window right here they even show up in my storyboard right here okay um, that's how you do it all right when you're working with uh, the title all right so um, basically this is what you do this is how you do it um, so this is our first video so um, in our next video I'm gonna talk about uh, this preview uh, window right here or this preview pane here I'm gonna talk about what is background music what is custom audio and stuff like that all right and i'm gonna get into deeper um you know into deeper detail when it comes to uh how you trim how you split and how you add text to these uh, videos that you're working on or even 3d effects filters speed and stuff like that all right so uh, i hope for a start uh, you guys understand what is um windows 10 video editor and what you can do with the editor you can actually do you know a lot of stuff with it um your videos will look uh, more professional if you use this uh, uh, this tool. I find I find it you know uh, more helpful because I work on certain videos and then I have to take them to another video editor. All right, thank you for your time. I hope you guys find this interesting. And if you find this interesting, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to our channel. All right, thank you. Hope to see you in our next video.